Hey guys, what is up? I'm trying to do a new WAMP build. Uh, this is my personal build that I'm using right now as of today. Um, this is not fully AFK. It somewhat is, like, occasionally Assassin gets by, etc. or stuff like that. But, Flingers will tend to throw down there, because I, I, I haven't personally added a Lobber Shield to it. Uh, but I was going to, and I completely forgot about it. So if you want to add a Lobber Shield, I'll just do something like this, like a... Th you don't need much, you just need, like, that. So, from this corner right here, two, three, four, over, go two up. Like that. So, I'm gonna get with the rest of the video. So, the lava bomb shift. No, a lot of people are struggling with this lava bomb shift. I figured out an, a different way to do it, if you say so. So, put a floor tile here, edit one like this. I put one like this. Like this, and I think I put one here. And one like this. I think that's what I had. Portal there, one right there as well. I think that's what I had. I think so. I, I will get back to this whenever the lava bomb actually goes off. So I'm gonna go through the rest of the tunnel. So we're gonna come over here, put this little crack as you know. Go one, two, three, four, and then go one, two. So the pathing of the husks are gonna walk straight this way. Go all the way around and go up to there. So we're gonna block off this side for they don't get through here. Just like that. A cone, a wall, a wall, a cone, a cone edited towards the northwest, and the two walls behind it. I put a wall right here and a wall right here as well, because I'll uh, show you why in a bit. Um, put two walls right here. We're gonna come down here, put two walls right here, in here. This is like a stall slash damage, because all the damage is gonna be down here. Like in this little general area, because they're gonna walk, they're gonna get flung down here, walk all the way up, go around, take some time to go through the tunnel, etc. Come up here and die. Basically, that's what they're gonna be doing. So, if I can get this lava bomb to go up, no, it won't. So I continue with this part. So we're gonna put a wall right here. We make edited half walls like this. One, two, three. Make sure this one's up. This one's up as well. Put a floor right here and a half wall right here. Put a wall right there, fill this in right here. Make sure you have your codes edited to ramps. So we're gonna start off with this one right here. We're gonna go one, two, three. Just like that. We're gonna put flat tiles over top of it. And do cones going all the way down. Like that. You wanna put uh walls on those as well. I haven't done a tutorial video in forever, so this might be a little struggle. I'm gonna have that like that, because you, you're gonna have a full launcher there. So I want it to look a little bit, you know, nice. So something, something like that. So they're gonna launch up, go over, fall down there. And then if they hit on these walls down here, they're gonna bonk down and get... Yeah, they would have to go around. I want this to look a little bit nice. Hold on. I'm gonna do this on the same side. There we go. Looks like a top head. There we go. Uh, this right here, yeah, let's make it a window. We're gonna make this one a window. I'll tell you why in a bit. We're gonna put in a little bit extra damage to make sure those assassin hosts don't get by. So I'm gonna add a little bit extra oomph into this. I need this to go off. So we're gonna do the block up up here since that won't go off. Uh, we're gonna put a floor tile here, here, here. Go one out from all that. Put cones over top of them. And then you're gonna surround these ones back here. Just like that. Make sure this one's facing towards the northeast, or the northwest, sorry. This one as well. Put a wall behind this. Put a wall floor and a cone right there. A wall, and put cones all the way back behind this. Northwest, straight. North, north, north. This one goes towards the northeast, and surround this with walls. All right. Cone right here, facing towards the northwest, surround that. Cone right here, facing towards the west, or in the north. Cone right here, facing towards the north. There you go, that's your basic block off. Block bomb is right there. Bucket. Yeah, you can have the bomb there. Whatever. Should be fine, I guess so. It's basically block it off like this. Block bomb does go here, just... The floor tells there. I shouldn't hit it. Should be fine. 
Or add the the two cones right here. For the two ramps. For that extra layer that was supposed to be here. And then fill this right here. Alright. So that's originally the, how it's supposed to go. A lot of my is supposed to be there, but I forgot how it did. I didn't take a screenshot of it. So I guess it's gonna be here for the majority of the time. If it does not go if it does not go here and it goes like break this half wall, just make sure to edit these floor tiles. Figure out a way to get that lava bomb over here or over here. It should be fine if it's right there as well. As long as you put those floor tiles right there and these ramps. You should be a okay. So it should go in there and it should not break those. Yep, just like that. Alright, so we're gonna block off this side right here. Floors and cones. Floors and cones again. Just like that. Everybody cones all the way around this. Just like this. And there you go. It's your basic block off from right there. Put walls in right here, floors and cones. And walls as well, right there. I'm being a little bit lazy on this video. I don't know why. There you go. That's all I need for the block off for this. Uh, if you do have a small home base build that the flingers can just walk up, make sure you have these walls over here. For the flingers don't walk all the way around and come back up. So I'm going to get to the actual tunnel. Of where the husks actually die at. Okay, so the husks are going to be hit down there. Hit over here. And they're going to be walk, walking all the way around there. Go up there. And then walk all the way around up here. Walk down here. And then walk through here. That is the pathing of the husk. So, if you either want your tunnel to be in here. You can. I don't think you can put this. Oh, you can. Okay, so we're gonna do this now. Since this should work, actually. So they should all get pathed into here anyways. So we're just making a straight shot tunnel. Okay. So how this is gonna work is if this does not work, oh, it actually will, but yeah, screw it. We're gonna do something new in the video. We're gonna do a little zigzag pattern. I don't think smashers will charge these, so you should be fine. I don't know. Smashers won't even get knocked down here. Uh, I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so. Yeah, you can have this in here. And this should be all you really need, because I don't have much up here. And none of the husks got by. So I had, like, a few walls right there. Feels wall right here. And a couple ceiling traps and stuff like that. I don't have much, so I don't think you really need much. To kill them that quickly. So I'm going to leave that down there. And I'm going to come up here and do the lobber shield thingy. You can put a floor tile here. Just in case I was supposed to come under here and hit this. You're going to put a... I'll just tell you where to put the traps in a bit. Go two units high. Because that will count as three. Go all the way around. Put a lob bomb one up. Blow up on it. Basically fill that in for the lobber shields don't throw. Or the lobbers don't want to throw. Uh, the love lobbers are personally gone in it, I'm pretty sure. Chromes also do not spawn in endurance. So you don't have to worry about them. And I think that is really it. So you're gonna come up this hill. Place an archway. This is for the mini boss loop slash... Slash, uh... Smasher thingy. Little, little smasher thing that they come out here and sit here and charge the amp over and over again. And they won't actually hit it. That's all you need. So little s small walls connecting all the way around to go up the top. And then arches around it. Um, me personally, uh, I'll get to the traps right now actually. I'll tell you to do the traps in the middle in a bit. Alright. So we're gonna go to the beginning, actually let's go over here. Get over here first to get this done. So right here, we're gonna have, uh, ceiling gas traps. Crit rating, crit damage, durability, reload, healing attached. We're going to have two right here. Over here, we're going to have two impact wall launchers. So, durability, reload, impact, reload, impact, durability. One, two, three. Just like that. And so now we're going to run all the way over here. 
And these side walls, all the ones that are going over to the tunnel, you're gonna place wall darts on the side. This can be a wooden force bite. The wall dart rolls are, my bad, damage, reload, crit rating, crit damage, durability. The wooden force bites are crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, damage, increased building health. So we're gonna come under here, right here. This is gonna be the same gas that we used. We're gonna come right here. This is where the lobbers will actually throw out right here. So this is gonna be an increased building health one. So damage, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, increased building health. We're gonna have one of those right here. All the rest are gonna be the same of those, uh, the healing attached. So in here, I got these straps from OTC Ace. I will link him in the description. I use these for this this build. So the durability, and they have four, three sun time perks on them, and another durability. So the stats look like this: the sun times of point four for 4.3 seconds, or reload times of 12 seconds. So 82 durability, so they shouldn't normally run out. They, they don't do much impact, so none of the husks will get hit down from in there as well, which is it's, it's, it's really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but he, he crafts these. I'll link them down in the description. Uh, I don't know if he's okay with me linking thing, but I'm going to do it. Shh, be quiet. Um, So I'm going to get with the traps. So we're going to put one wooden force back right here. We're gonna use those uh, stun time ones. One right here, here, and here. The floor traps are gonna be the two impact, two dur or three durability, and one reload uh, floor launchers. One right here, and one right here. This one will be the other one. So two reload, two impact, two durability. One right there. So that should knock all the husks down there, and it should want to walk the little tunnel that I had you made down there. This small wall is going to be a wall dynamo with healing attached. So crit running, crit damage, crit running, crit damage, uh, healing attached. One right there. This wall is going to be a wall dart. This one's going to be a wall launcher at two impact, two reload, two durability. One right here. One right here. My bad. So this floor is going to be a wooden force spike, and this next one's going to be an all durability tar pit. This wall over here is going to be a broadside, so crit reading, reload, crit damage, or damage, crit damage, durability, I'm pretty sure. No, I want this one. This one. So crit reading, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. So that's to any of the husks that actually get by, or like any of the big husks, if they get by, this will do a lot more damage than anything else. So we're going to have a ceiling zapper. So crit reading, crit damage, crit reading, crit damage, durability, one right here. We're going to have an electric field right here, so that's going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. And then we're going to have the healing attached gas trap right there. So, that should be the base layout of this tunnel right here. So we're going to drop down here. So the husk instinct is to hit this wall right here, normally. I haven't seen him hit this wall yet. But if they do, you can put like a, you know, tickle trap right here. So I put a uh, crit rating, reload, crit or damage, crit damage, increased building health, wall dynamo. Right here will be a three impact, two reload, a durability wall launcher. Right here and right here. This will get all the husks perfectly down there and far enough down there that they would actually want to run. Um, so down here, since I literally just built this now to test it, it should be fine because it, it's literally like almost the same amount. But if you do have propane issues in here, we're going to put a sound wall right here and one right here. Just in case. So durability, reload durability, reload durability, increased building health. So this is going to be a one of four spike. This one is going to be a tar pit. So if they get hit by those two and then a wall launcher, that count as three, four, and five, and six. So they normally only get hit by one if they do get down there, because they normally will drop down here by himself. That's what they did. They dropped down here and they didn't care. Which I don't know why. But if they do, uh, they should all be able to hit him and he should be fine. So we're basically going to do one line of broadsides. Like that. Oh, from this uh, sound wall, put a broadside as well. 
So we're gonna use. Hmm. Let's go with uh. Where are they? Let's go with uh. Durability, reload, durability, reload, durability. Effect duration, wall light. Wait, no, 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 no. We're gonna use these. The wall spikes. I made these just for, so I said I was gonna use them a little bit more. So crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, increased building health. So we're gonna put one right here. And here. This is gonna be a wall dynamo. So we're gonna have a retractable force spike right here. A flame grill and a flame grill. The flame grill rolls are crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. The retractables are crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. So we're going to go to the scene electric fields, go from the end, go one, two, three. And the rest are going to be gas traps. There you go. They do make it up there. They should not They should just get knocked back down. If so. If not, they will die to this mold dart. Dart, yeah. Full dart. So up here in the block off, you need this back layer to have increased building health on it. So like anything that has increased building health on a wall, just make sure you place it across this. Make sure you place four tiles as well. Going like this. That's what I personally did. That that that's how I stopped them from breaking the block off because they kept on continuing to break it for no reason. So that. Literally, once I did that, it was perfectly fine. I don't know why. Yeah, it's Epic Games for you. Uh, so this is all. This is not fully AFK. You can probably tweak it to your own AFK desires. But... This is the new build. I've been toying with. No. I'm planning on to make a fully AFK base. I'm just getting down designs that I most likely are comfortable with. And that are ready to go. So that is it. Love you guys and stay in nature.